in minutes. Scott. All right, Nicole, thanks. We are learning new information this afternoon about the woman found shot in a truck just outside the city county building. She is in critical condition, and the man who was driving that truck has now been arrested. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson has been talking with detectives. So, Steve, what have you learned? Well, the man who drove his pickup truck riddled with bullets here to police headquarters yesterday afternoon is behind bars right now. Officers arrested 30-year-old William Smith for being a violent felon in possession of a handgun. They also questioned him about that passenger critically injured by gunfire. Smith drove up to the city county building around 1.30 Wednesday. When he got out of his pickup truck carrying a handgun, a Metro police officer ordered him to the ground. Now, someone visiting the city county building recorded this video on his cell phone and posted it on YouTube. Smith was reportedly trying to get help for that 20-year-old woman slumped over in the passenger seat of his pickup truck suffering from gunshot wounds. Marion County deputies helped take Smith into custody. The driver of the truck was detained. When the officers uh, placed the individual in handcuffs, they immediately noticed a female slumped over in the passenger side of the truck with apparent gunshot wounds. Now, we have learned that Smith has obviously been in trouble with the law prior to Wednesday's incident here downtown. Now, Metro police officers, they have not released the name of the woman that was injured riding in the pickup truck with him. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly where this all started because when they got here, the gunfire had already uh, hit his truck. The woman had already been shot. So they're still investigating. They're still trying to find answers to a lot of questions in this incident. And as, little, as soon as we learn information about it, we will pass that along to you. Reporting live, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Steve. Police today are looking for a gun.